Welcome back. For the past year and a half or more, we've been hearing about nothing but COVID-19, and now the talk is all about vaccines. Vaccine manufacturers are now suggesting we may have to get a yearly booster to stay safe from the virus. But what if there were another form of medication, like a pill that you could take to clear your body of the COVID virus if you caught it? Could this possibly eliminate the need for vaccines? In a previously recorded interview, I had a chat with DJ Kim, a biochemistry master's student from the University of Lethbridge, who's working on the research to invent such a medication. Take a look. Let's talk about the research you're doing at the U of L. It sounds really interesting, but how does it relate to COVID? Uh, yeah, so we're trying to investigate how COVID uh, interacts with the human protein. So we target the COVID protein that is, uh, has a function of proofreading and protecting. So without this protein functioning properly, uh, the virus will make a lot of mutation on their, uh, when they're replicating themselves. Uh, as you kind of heard from news that the, some mutation in the COVID variant sounds a little scary, yeah. but once we kind of like uh, target this protein, COVID makes a lot of mutation which will just essentially the, the COVID cannot survive by itself. So if the virus mutates too much, you're saying it can't survive? Yes. Okay. So uh, all the viruses have a very specific uh, a genetic code in, their, uh, in themselves. Yeah. But if there's a lot of mutation happen, they just cannot survive. Okay, so what is it that your research is doing that's helping to prevent that from happening? We're okay. forcing them to have more mutation so that they just die off by themselves. Interesting. So how do you do that? <laughs> so uh, for us, we're just uh, just uh, get the COVID protein from E. coli, and then we just like make a lot of it, and then we get the we're just uh, trying to uh, get the structural information of this protein. And then our collaborating uh, institutions will continue on with designing, oh, sorry, designing the, uh, the inhibitors of the COVID. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Now, is this something that would be used in a vaccine? Oh, uh, no, it's totally different from vaccine. Vaccine is like you uh, grow your immune system uh, by adding the uh, vaccine materials. Where this thing is like, if you have a COVID, uh, if you're infected by COVID already, then we're uh, adding this inhibitor to stop the uh, growth of a COVID in your body. That, that's so fascinating. So it's, it's more like a, yeah, it's more like a medicine that you take when you have fever. Okay. Yeah. And would it be in the form of like a pill or something? Uh, for now, we cannot really tell because <laughs> we're, we're just doing very uh, preliminary uh, research so far, but in the end, we're probably expecting, yeah, more like pills or yeah, something that we digest kind of thing, yeah. So this is something that could actually avoid vaccines altogether. So if somebody were to get COVID, they could take this medicine and what it does is it causes the virus to mutate too much so that it basically dies off. Yeah, that's, that's what we were trying to do. And but we certainly don't recommend people to not take vaccine because, you know, the name itself is severe acute respiratory syndrome, which is not a good thing. <laughs> now, you'd mentioned um, that there's collaboration with other universities. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? I know you're in the preliminary stages and everything. Uh, so far, we just uh, have a lot of uh, uh, collaboration with the uh, not only in Canada, but the outside of Canada, such as uh, England or USA. Uh, and then those people have a better equipment to uh, perform the further research. So that's why uh, we are doing collaboration with the other institution. Yeah, there, there's some limitation in, in Canada. Okay. And this started in Dr. Patel's biochemistry lab, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, my understanding yeah. is Dr. Patel's lab is uh, quite the center for a lot of this research that's coming out of Lethbridge. It's amazing. Uh, the work much. that you guys are doing uh, yeah. is really impressive, and I wish you guys the best of Thanks. luck with that. Absolutely. Take care. Thank and you I, very much. Yeah, take care. All the best yeah. to you, DJ. Take care. Okay, thank you very much.
some fascinating research coming out of the University of Lethbridge. Well, next week we'll bring you part two of that interview with a U of L postdoc student who's helping to find a cure for hepatitis B. Up next, the greatest outdoor show on earth has resumed once again. We tell you how that's going and what's changed about it. Stay with us.